Welcome to the story of liberty. Today is March 20th, a day that many recognize as the passing on of the greatest scientist that ever lived. A recent poll taken of scientists answered the question who was the greatest scientist that ever lived, Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac brought us mathematical laws relating to gravity and calculus, among many other things. Sir Isaac Newton believed in God. He believed in Christ. He believed in the Holy Bible. And yes, he believed in creation. It's interesting that he wrote more books on theology than he did on science. As a young boy, he grew up discovering these many important laws that we understand today with gravitation and the laws of motion. But what really is interesting about Sir Isaac is that he said, and he wrote in 1704, that God in the beginning formed matter. He said, I have a fundamental belief in the Bible as the word of God, written by those who were inspired by God. I study the Bible daily. He also wrote that the system of revealed truth, which this book contains, is like that of the universe sealed from common observation, yet the labors of the centuries have established its divine origin. Toward the end of his life, he took up residence in Cranberry Park. He spent much time working and continuing his study. He died in his sleep this day in 1727 and he's buried at Westminster Abbey. He is, in the opinion of many, the greatest genius who had ever lived outside of Christ the Lord.